नमस्कार कैन यू डू द नमस्कार Last class we did an interesting exercise of uh, doing a lot of varieties with one basic tate te ta adavu because uh, it's interesting to see as we revisit the adavus and as we revisualize it how much you can you know in in a sense create as you are working on them and how many varieties you can uh, Uh, did you all sleep over it and think a little more about the tate te tas a little bit yes we worked on the connections between hands and movement we tried to cover more space with the new varieties that we learned the other day now let's interchange what she did can you do sure. let's see how that works on your body because you know 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 eight ta de tai tai ta ta tai tai ta de tai faster ta tai tai ta de tai tai ta 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 ta tai tai ta de tai so you are okay with three speeds on this it can this is another thing you as you do you realize some of some work much better in, in the first speed some work better in the uh, second speed and that many very few work very good in the third speed so we need really need to see which are the ones that can be worked in all three speeds and some which can be worked only in slow only in fast it depends uh, amu can i see the one that radhika did you which you can do that's the one i did okay one two uh, then you do either of this this snehas one two three four ta tai tai ta de tai tai ta 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 easy again with three speeds radhika can i see what uh, amu did yeah 1 2 3 4 ta tai ta de tai tai ta ta tai 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 tai ta de tai tai ta so it's interesting to see what uh, variations are possible let's go to the next adava which is basically the tattai ta hadu which is one of the very basic adavu is for a bharatanatyam dancer because there are some salient features in bharatanatyam which are not there in other forms and this particular adavu i think exemplifies the aramandi position because when you jump and you go in in the third beat that ta ta that ta it's a, it's a beautiful uh, level variation and it uh, looks very nice Uh, though very demanding on the dancer so let's do the first tatte taha these are the two basic ones which we do even in the first item in a bharatanatyam margam which is the alaripu this is used and uh, this is taught in all three speeds to a young dancer uh, this is the basic movement of course there are variation in terms of how you move the uh, the, the palms in different styles but uh, the basic adavu and the structure is pretty much the same ta tai ta ta de tai ta ta forward bend tai ta ta de tai 
So this is the basic. Now the two variations that are there in our school which we teach which is again traditional and it is done by many schools are the side and the back. So let us do that. One, two, three, four. Ta, tai, ta, ha. De, tai, ta, ha. Back. Ta, tai, ta, ha. De, tai, ta, ha. Ta, tai, ta, ha. De, tai, ta, ha. Ta, tai, ta, ha. De, tai, ta, ha. This uh, particular adava is a fantastic tool in the at least in the hands of the dancer I feel because this gives so much of possibility in terms of the nadais because this is something that you can split any which way and create almost all the five nadais with this one tate taha movement. So as we when I when I talked about creativity in pedagogy this was part of the uh, the, the, the process of teaching where in, uh, in class itself as you are teaching the adavus you do not teach it only in chatusram but you teach it in not I am not talking about all the adavus but some adavus which lend themselves to interpretation in all different jatis we definitely teach it because this is this is a very as I said a very interesting thing to play around with for the child to be able to hold the tala uh, for a child and later it helps in easy interpretation when the arithmetics becomes complex and the, you have to use it and enunciate a particular beat in the panchanadais. So first we normally start with a tisranadai which is very easy to do. Sneha can you do the tisranadai? You can see it is a neat Tisranade which is interpreted in this uh, uh, particular uh, uh, by in this particular Adavu Tatteta Hadavu. Radhika can we do the Khandanade? So you see when you learn there is a beautiful thing of holding that fifth beat tattaita ha so it is takka di mi takka di mi takka di mi so that five fifth beat is khali which means that you need to hold the fifth beat before you go on to the one of the next so five is actually done as four plus one so it is nicely divided at it's not divided as takka takita the way it is interpreted here it is split as so there are different ways of uh, doing the uh, you cannot split it because this is basically a four, uh, four, four ka pattern so you cannot split it as one and three so you cannot do that so this is that is why it is being split as four plus one so four and then you give a gap so that is how it becomes a now can uh, any of you do the 
மிஷ்ரம் ஒன் சேட் அண்ட் டூ இட் ஒன் டூ த்ரீ ஃபோர் தக்க பிம்மி தக்கிட்ட தக்க பிம்மி தக்கிட்ட தத்தை தா ஹா தத்தை தா ஹா யூ ஹவ் சேஞ்ச் தக்க பிம்மி தக்கிட்ட தக்க பிம்மி தக்கிட்ட தக்க பிம்மி தக்க பிம்மி தக்கிட்ட தக்க பிம்மி தக்கிட்ட தக்கிட்ட தக்க பிம்மி தக்கிட்ட தக்க பிம் சோ யூ see you can play around with this in terms of takita takadimi and takadimi takita so that's an interesting uh, aspect of this uh, particular uh, uh, jati uh, if this, this particular adava which can be done sankirnam let's try sneha try the sankirnam how would you want to split the sankirnam you have to decide that um can i add Yes, you will have to, because this is a basically a, a, a four-beat adava. So, to be interpreting nine, you have to kind of give a prefix. So, how would you do it? Um. <laughs> करो दिमाग चढ़ाओ लगाओ वन टू थ्री फोर ये फास्ट में it's a little difficult because that's what you have to see this is very good for slow but fast you might have to rethink it so um many times what many dancers do is do once this and maybe the second time just do one foot tak din ni tak kit so then you know because this also become very heavy so if you are a tall person height is there so you know when you jump twice in one thing uh, it does become sometimes a little particularly in fast it becomes a little gawky so you have to see all that when you uh, sneha can you do the uh, the ones that you did one by one again 1 2 3 4 <laughs> tak dimmi tak tak ta tak dimmi tak tak next what did you do next one two apna dimag lagao one two three four so you see how one particular adavu of tatai taha is really being churned and worked out in such a way that you cover the entire gamut so as i said this tatai taha is an extremely flexible uh, tool because even in the jatis when you do uh, you do tai 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 tatai taha tai 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 tatai taha even in chadusram when you do just you don't necessarily do only tatai taha in the traditional way the third speed of most of the jatis when you do it is tai 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 tatai taha i have found it also interesting to combine it with a, a turn and then to do tatai taha so you know this this and then either tatai taha or even a stretch and then tatai taha 
so which is traditional but need, need not necessarily be done only in the first speed of the jati you know so it can also be done as a fast movement elsewhere when you need to do a particular jati or a particular um, uh, now in that tillana when we do it sits so beautifully deemtana deemtana dana dana so that you know the continuous uh, beating of the feet and the movement works beautifully let's see that one two three four deemtana deemtana dana dana deemtana deemtana dana dana now this really um, what the song has to say instead of doing atate tita dim tana dim tana tana dina doesn't give the impact of dim tana dim tana see that that thing of the play of the soft and the hard which comes that is the the, the khasiyat of this particular uh, so it's not going in the same monotonous way of atate tita there is a variation of a soft and a hard in this so which needs to be intelligently used where you need to exemplify a particular beat and create that variety in terms of um, uh, the the delineation of the pure dance now can any of you all think of any other tate teta movement other than what we now we've not done any movement variation in tate teta we have so far done variation only in terms of the jatis and how you can change uh, the jatis and how you can do it so think of variations in terms of how you can geometrically change and the visuality of tate teta can i try one yeah one 2 3 Four, ah, three, ta, ha. No, this is tate tate ta. See, what we are doing is a tate tate ta hard. So, one, two, three, four, ta, tate, ta, ha. Okay. See, ideally in tate tate ta ha, in the first two beats you need a movement. So you have to think of such a thing where you have that ta tai has to have movement, ideally. And are hastas attached to uh, like? Not at all anymore. I think you are free to use hastas because um, depends on what comes before and after, as I always say, because uh, it has to be worked out only in conjunction with what you are doing. So it's it's not that you cannot change the hasta, but ideally the ta tai has to have. two movements in this you did for example ta tai you held the hand you didn't do a second movement so ideally ta tai if you do that creates a, a pattern ta tai ta ha de tai ta ha ta tai ta ha de tai ta ha not bad not bad so in fact this is how varur does tate ta ha they don't turn the hand at all tate ta ha the ta ha also they do only one foot so they very light on their feet that is the that is the main aspect of varur that they very feminine in their approach to pure dance so when they do tate ta ha ta ha tate tate ta ha ta ha so you know looks very nice If when it comes as a relief mm. uh, after a very hard teha tehi or something when you come and do this mm. then it gives a nice shade of like dark and light you know so it gives a, a very nice effect radhika can you think of something catch your brains what if, uh, if we do, what if, if we do uh, ta tehi ta we're not using that jump and beat as of now try and do it as far as possible within that within the tate ta ha uh, region because uh, if you start combining then there lots lots of things that can be brought into the fold so
Amo, thought of something? Try out. Maybe it works, it doesn't work. This is not a movement uh, adam. Which like one? I would prefer because this is a very strong adavan. Okay. That is a different movement altogether, yeah. which comes in the um, you know alaripo uh, where you move. Yes. But this is a different adavan. That's a different adavan. So okay. ideally, if you maintain the tatte taha, I I would like it architecturally and geometrically. This would be better. And we we can't uh, can we do movement? No. Explore this. You haven't explored this. No? So, if you do a side, ta, tai. Yes. Huh? See, some of them really become difficult to execute also. But you need practice. Yes. See, when you are moving out of comfort zone and going on to a different uh, uh, thing, uh, so that does require, or if you start like this, supposing you change, you know, we have this fixation of starting from here. So, if you can start from here, ta, tai, ta. So, it also creates a pattern. Ha. One, two, one, two, three, four. Ta, tai, ta, ha. De, ha. See, ta, ha has to go up then. One, two, three, four. Ta, tai, ta, ha. De, tai, ta, ha. Ta, tai, ta, ha. And de, tai, ta, ha. Ha. One, two, three, four. Ta, tai, ta, ha. De, tai, ta, ha. Ta, tai, ta, ha. De, tai, ha. Gol, gol, gum, ya. No, no, it's, it's interesting because see, this has the temple architecture kind of thing. So, if you're doing something with that in mind, supposing, you know, and you want to create an abstract pattern which is talking about the shikhara or the the grandeur you know then something like this comes in very handy where you then you then then you fill in that emotion into that movement mm -hmm. right now it's a blank movement but it's possible in this kind of a thing to fill in mm -hmm. to fill in emotion you know so that's the interesting part of uh, kind of playing around with these adavus in such a way that it you do manage to kind of fill in uh, a certain sentiment or a certain theme uh, to a particular movement. I know many people think that after all pure dance is just joy and you know it really um, may not lend itself so much to uh, delineation of any mood but I think it does. It does because there are certain um, uh, places where um, uh, this can make a very solid kind of an impact mm -hmm. when you do a, a, a particular movement in a particular context in a particular way then it does hit that that point and it can make a very very uh, strong statement. So, I think it is a very useful exercise. Don't you think it is a useful exercise yes. to do Tate Taha? Because Tate Taha very often you just stick, stick you know the to same. the same Tate Taha and uh, do not want to break so out of that. When you are making a new, you are thinking of a new way of looking at an adabu, so what basic points we should keep in mind? That the logic is maintained. Like I told you like not to in introduce any other feet movement for example. Right. Tattai has to be, hmm. second I said that Tattai needs two movements. Right. For example, many times what you do, it becomes then a mishmash of sorts, you know, if you if you don't give correct movements for each. So, you, you can't, it is still okay because it is not as definitive as ta has four distinct uh, different kinds of movements, you know. 
so it's not wishy washy like it has a definite uh, structure so you can't really kind of not do a movement for each of the four beats so i think i think there's no one rule each adhav will have a different uh, rule which you will need to follow and as you do it you need to kind of uh, that's why i think a guru is important <laughs> that's what she asked right in the beginning mudras you can change it's not can Actually we do the mindset is that yes we associate uh, tripataka with tatetaha but you did most of the variations you did were in tatetaha <laughs> it was in tripataka so what is the difference uh, of using the basic tatetaha in a jati and using it in a swara where where i will discuss this in the next class can we do the namaskar <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.